everyone. Welcome to another District 50 Facebook Live event. I'm here today with Courtney Federlum, who is um, a part of in the energy behind a really exciting and innovative program that I want to um, explain to you. Um, Courtney is a new addition to our D50 uh, team. And one of the things that happened uh, last year was the introduction of our business incubator program. And we're hoping that every year we can have one innovative program that kind of comes and is a new benefit to our, our students. And uh, the reason we can do this program, the REACH program that I'll let Courtney introduce in a minute, is because of the evidence-based funding that we're receiving from the state of Illinois right now to uh, add programs that we know we need. And we really feel like this innovative program hits a really important spot in our community. And so, uh, first of all, Courtney, let's uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, Courtney is a delightful person to have around the office, uh, cheerful and very optimistic, and she's a great addition to our team. But why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you sure. come from, and a little bit more about you. Okay. My name is Courtney Fedulum, and I'm the Director of Extended Day Programming and Enrichment for Harvard School District. I have about 20 years of experience in community parks and recreation, specifically with the Park District system, and I've also worked with another school district running an after-school program and summer day camp. So. Oh, good. So that's a good segue into what we're going to talk about today, the REACH program. So that's um, uh, an acronym for something, and uh, you'll remember it better than I, than I will. But, but REACH is designed to be an after-school um, program for our students. Uh, and I'll let Courtney explain a little bit more about how this came, uh, came about. And then maybe I'll talk a little bit about why we thought this was something that would help our community. Sure. So REACH does stand for Recreation, Enrichment, Academics, Community, and Health and Wellness. And it's an after-school program designed to give the students new experiences, new opportunities um, through recreation and enrichment programming. So it's an intentionally planned program um, that's focusing on, again, socialization uh, with peers, with teachers, with adults, with our community to expand those opportunities and to give kids new experiences. So the the thing will be students will be staying at their school then, Correct. and it's just kind of an extension of the day, but with some really cool activities that we'll design. Absolutely, that, yes. So uh, the program will start when school dismisses, and we'll be offering the program at Crosby Elementary, Jefferson Elementary, and the Junior High. Uh, the program will run until 5 p.m., okay. and students have an option to either get bused home or to have a parent or guardian come pick them up. So wow. during that two-hour time frame, they will uh, be able to uh, work on some homework. The uh, snack will be provided to them, and then they'll be uh, participating in different types of activities Okay. for that time. So when you say some of these activities, what type of things might they get to experience? Sure. So some extended learning opportunities that are going to be planned by the teachers, maybe STEM, um, recycling, poetry club, readers theater, will participate in group projects and activities recreation based. Um, and then we're also bringing in some community members to share their expertise with the mm. students uh, one to two days a week. Okay, so this is not sit down, shut up, and do homework. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which no kid wants to do after no. school. Feed me and let me have some fun. Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay, so. good, good, good. So now in the design of this, one of the things that we did in kind of a, an audit of our community is to determine what is a need in our community that mm -hmm. our school can help provide. And this came up from our conversations with families that, you know, we there's really not anything that is through the school that is you know formalized and uh, repetitive that we can be a part of. We have some 4-H programs and some kind of informal things, but nothing like this comprehensive. So this is quite different than just maybe like a three-week 4-H uh, thing, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. It will run in five-week sessions, uh, Monday through Thursday during that five-week time period. And again, we really want to provide rewarding and meaningful experiences for the students through different types of recreation and enrichment programs. And that's kind of your background, right? Is Correct. recreation mm -hmm. type experiences for kids. So what's this going to look like for kids? They they come and um, how, how, what are they going to 
to see? What are they going to do? <laughs> so they'll uh, arrive at the program uh, within their building, most likely in the cafeteria, and they'll have a snack, take attendance, do some type of a group meeting with the lead teacher and the other staff. So check-in questions, maybe a fun group activity, get to know you or team building. Then we'll roll into that little bit of homework time. Um, and then again, uh, structured recreation for the last hour or so. Now, a question about the busing. Mm -hmm. If my uh, child does not ride the bus to school mm -hmm. because they're too close to school, can they still get the bus home? Yes, they can. Uh, okay. Very exciting. Good. We've worked with Durham Great. Transportation to work out um, that transportation will be available to all students regardless if they typically qualify. So this could be an amazing thing for any parent that, let's say, works till 5. Definitely. They would be meeting their kid at the same time mm -hmm. and maybe you know, freeze it up because there's always that angst after school, you right. know, do I get off early or, you know, working out after school schedules. This could really, mm -hmm. really help. Definitely. Oh, okay, fantastic. Now, one thing that has been on your mind, I know because we've talked about it, is who are the staff going to be? So how sure. are we going to figure out who the teachers and instructors and people with our students are going to be? Uh, the staff are going to, there'll be a lead teacher at each site, and that will be a certified teacher from the school district. So an internal employee who's applied for this position to work after school with the students, and then we'll have some educational support personnel to assist them. Okay. Um, and they can be internal or external employees. We are having a job fair coming up oh, okay. on Thursday, October 24th, to again, try and get more people in uh, to work with the REACH program. Okay, so if you are interested in any way, maybe this is something that works into your schedule, um, October 24th, there's a mm -hmm. job fair. And so we're looking to fill the um, the sites at Crosby, Jefferson, and the junior high. So Absolutely. there's quite a few jobs to be had here. Um, mm -hmm. Not only will we fill your reach jobs, but mm -hmm. a shameless plug for the rest of our district, <laughs> we still have other positions that we're looking to fill. So always go to our cusd50.org uh, website and go into the human resources link in the hiring section. There's lots of jobs. And I think that October 24th day will be about re reach and many other yes, things. So definitely. Yeah. And it will be right here at the central office. Okay. What's um, what's the cost if I want my child to be in reach? So for the five-week session, it's a $50 per session uh, for full pay. Or if the student qualifies for direct certification, that would be a $25 fee. So okay. 50 wow. or $25 for five weeks of intentional structured program really affordable um, so if you don't know if you're a direct certified family or not you can always check with your school's um, central office they, they have that and they keep track of that um, so you can understand what your fee might be well so this is gonna be really exciting so mm -hmm. I might learn kung fu I might learn poetry I mm -hmm. might make a God's eye all kinds of things yes. <laughs> are, are gonna happen in this huh Definitely do some yoga, find oh, some balance, tell stories. That's fantastic. Now, is the idea that eventually something like this might be done in the summer or all year long? I know uh, here it is um, uh, October and we sure. haven't really started yet. Is the idea this would be all year long or how does this move forward? I know sure. we're just getting started here. Yes. So this school year we are starting in November and rolling it out one school at a time. So we'll be opening at Crosby in November then Jefferson and the junior high come January and February. Next school year, we will open all three sites starting at the mm. beginning of the year and run those five-week sessions through May. Okay. Um, we do plan to open up a summer program also uh, in the near cool. future, uh, which will again have the enrichment activities, um, okay. maybe a component to some of the other programs in the mm. district for the summer. So we, did, we will develop kind of as time goes Absolutely. on too. Absolutely. Um, well, Courtney, one thing that I was thinking about too is we are trying to look for as many partnerships with our community as we can. That is really a vital part of what we're always mm -hmm. trying to do is reach out to our community and bring them in. Let's say I'm a master gardener in the community and I hear about this program and I say, you know, I'd really like to, you know, maybe come and do a day a week uh, in a program. How, do we just reach out to you and then you can figure out how that might fit into the program? How would that work? Yes, definitely. You can okay. contact me if you are an expert in some area or have a talent to share with our students. Um, also, I do hope to get out and about into the community to make contact with um, some of our partners and community members to see if, if they would like to be a part of the program. So just reach out to you and say, yep. hey, I'm a master gardener mm -hmm. or I'm... I can teach kids how to beatbox or whatever yeah, it yes. might be. We, <laughs> we're going to make this very fun, I hope. And it will be something, hopefully, that all of our kids really look forward to. Um, so 
Are there some things that uh, you're answering a lot in terms of questions about the program mm -hmm. that people are, as they're hearing more about, are starting to get excited? Is there, are there some common questions or anything you're hearing a lot? Uh, some of the things that I've heard are, is will they will the students get tutoring uh, oh, services, okay. uh, which again, we will offer time for homework, um, and teachers and the educational support personnel will assist, um, but it's not a guarantee that tutoring or homework will be absolutely finished within, within our time frame because we do have other plans uh, during the program. I bet you in the end it'll it'll seems like a lot to plan for, but it'll probably mm -hmm. go really quickly. Yes, I think it will. Yeah. So as I've started meeting with some of the teachers who've applied for the position, mm -hmm. um, they're very excited to to get planning. So. Uh, as a former campfire counselor, I always mm -hmm. remember trying to figure out how are we going to fill this whole day, and then next yeah. thing you know, the day just flies by, and you have a great thing. Um, wow, this is going to be something totally new for our community and our district, and we hope you spread the word. So if you're watching this. Um, share the link, pass it along to people that have uh, school-age children that you think this might be a good option for. Because I think the word of mouth will be really what spreads this uh, in our community and makes it grow and grow. So we're excited about this opportunity. Okay, uh, Courtney, let's get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, what are you going to be for Halloween? Are you dressing Ugh, up? I tend to not dress up. Uh, can you remember the last time you did dress up? What, what you were? I uh, previously I used to work with Nizra, and I always helped out with the Halloween dances. So I've uh, I think I might have a witch hat somewhere. There you <laughs> and go. Some black clothing. Very good. That was, that's a good one. Uh, last movie that you went to the theater to see. Last movie that I saw in the theater. Oh, I'm not. I don't go often. It might have been Green Book. Oh, yeah, that's it good. It was a yeah, while ago, but I think I saw still... that on a plane one time. Yeah. It, was, it was interesting. Uh, I'm still a little traumatized by seeing the Joker this weekend, so I'm trying to. That's yes. uh, that's what's on my mind. <laughs> um, but Courtney, uh, thanks for joining mm -hmm. us in the district, Thank and you. it has been a long haul because you've been in the district for a while, yes. planning and planning. I yes. bet you this is getting really exciting now yep. that we're getting closer and mm -hmm. um, those opening days. And we are starting just at one school. I think that's important Correct. to say too that Crosby will be the place where <clears> we kind of get it figured out, mm -hmm. and then we'll expect expand and run both Crosby and Jefferson mm -hmm. at the same time. And then finally, the uh, junior, high, yeah, um, junior high will be, yep. and so all three programs will run simultaneously. So um, that's really exciting. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. And uh, like I said, spread the word about this exciting new addition to our community. And uh, thanks for joining me, Courtney. And Thank thanks everyone for listening and spread the good word.